celebrating today uh, the 31st anniversary of uh, Ukraine regaining its independence. And this is a moment of joy. But unfortunately, today we also mark six months of uh, Russian Federation unleashing a terrible war of aggression against Ukraine. And this is a moment of sorrow because we have to think of all the victims of this war that are dying uh, daily and the atrocities have been committed against the Ukrainian people. And we are full of admiration for the steadfastness and the determination of the Ukrainian people to live up to their decisions to live in a country which is free, prosperous, and to live up to our own decisions, despite all odds. And the best way to support these decisions, these courageous and brave decision, is to by confirming that the European Union and its member states will stand by Ukraine to reject uh, the aggression of the Russian Federation and to rebuild the country brick by brick, seat by seat. Together with many other countries will be there. And it's great pleasure to know that uh, Ukraine is now a candidate country to become a member of the European Union. I congratulate Ukraine for this important achievement. We're joining a larger family. Serbia is also a kind of country. Serbia has a lot of experience, is much further in this process. I'm sure they have a lot of experience they can also share. This is beyond friendship. I think these are becoming family relations. And in a family, we need to stand side by side and support each other. Slava Ukraina, živela Serbia, živela Roska Unija.